leadership and proper behavior at high school athletic gym, the IHSAA, along with Captain High School, expect good sportsmanship. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's matchup here at the Comet Crater, where the cast and comments are playing host to the North White Vikings. Uh, tonight is homecoming night here at the Crater, so we're uh, looking forward to a great evening of football and fun for the students and, you know, a hint of normalcy in what has been, well, an unusual year, just to say the least. So, uh, looking at the looking at the predictions for tonight, uh, uh, both teams coming in tonight with a uh, with a one win record for the season, and uh, John Harrell predicting a cast and win tonight. But as we all know, anything can happen through the course of the evening. So, once again, looking forward to a great evening of football, and. Uh, Hope that uh, all the guys out there on the gridiron are safe. That's that's Wait, that is oh, I remember the I remember the manager was bringing up. Quarterback number nine, Elijah Clay Clark. Running back number 20, Parker Smith. Wide receiver number 33, Brady Bergman. Wide receiver number 34, Kate DeBoer. Wide receiver number 40, Zach Sloan. Well, looking at the rosters and the sidelines, the uh, the comments are a little bit more evenly matched here as far as roster numbers with North White than uh, than they have been in, in some games past. And looking down through, looks as though North White is nearly as young of a team overall as the comments. Should be uh, should be an interesting matchup here tonight. And the Comets will be receiving the kickoff.
and number 56, Selvin Portillo, teeing up to kick off. Sam Smith and Damian Sullivan deep to receive the kick. And there's the kick. Right into the waiting arms of Damian Sullivan. Coming up through the field, he gets off along the sideline. He's taken down around the Comets 40 yard line. Comets now first and 10 on the 42. Hickle in the quarterback position here. Man in motion, here's a snap. Got a flea flicker back to Damian Sullivan. Trying to break that tackle. And he gains a few yards on the play. Gain of a, about seven, it looks like. Comets now, second and four. There's a snap, gonna go straight up the middle with it. Number five, Sam Smith with a gain of a few yards, and that will be a cast and comments. First down. Number 72, Malachi Davis with that tackle. Brock Wolf in motion. We're gonna have a quarterback keeper off to the left. Good for a gain of six or seven yards on that. Luke Sherrig with that tackle. Second and two it looks like for the Comets. Man in motion, gonna send it up the middle. And Sam Smith grabs the first down for the Comets, moving the ball up to the, uh, excuse me, the Vikings uh, 27 yard line or so. Snap. And Grant Hickle gonna move it up for a few yards. Goes uh, just right of center on that play. And picks up about five yards on that. Second and five. Ball now inside of North White's 25 yard line. Oh, and fumble and recovered by Damian Sullivan. Going to be uh, for a loss of quite a few yards for the Comets, though. Ball now back behind the chains. Back to the 34-yard line. Comets now looking at third and 12. There's a snap, gonna flick it back to Sam Smith. He's gonna go left with it. 
Gets up, and there's a flag on the play in the backfield. And comments with a hold. They will repeat third down, but they've lost 10 more yards. <coughs> It's third and 18. Sam Smith, he breaks free. He could go all the way. And he's in the end zone. Amazing, amazing turnaround there by Sam Smith as they were sitting at third and very long. and Sam Smith to attempt the extra point. And lots of whistles down there. We got a flag on the kick. And the defense was offsides. Comet's now going to switch over to a two-point conversion attempt, sending in number 72, Pete Duvall. Duvall been on injured reserve these last couple of weeks over a bone bruise. There's a man in motion. And there's the two-point conversion. Sam Smith moving that ball into the end zone. So that puts our score now. Caston eight, North White zero. Comments will set up for the kickoff. And Jesse Rock Wolf with the football on the tee, ready to kick it off. Got Kate Garrett and Braden Bushman in the backfield to receive the kick. Good catch on that. Starts moving up the field, breaks the tackle.
still fighting, finally goes down at North White's 32 yard line. Vikings now first and 10 on their own 32. Elijah Quaysbarth back to play QB. And that was number 20, Parker Smith with the carry. Good for a gain of a few yards, about five. Vikings now, second and five on their own 37. Man in motion, and penalty on the play. Looks like we had a false start on the offense. They'll give five yards back. Back to their own 32 for second and 10. Flag on the play. Vikings with another false start. Move back five more. Second and 15 now for the Vikings. There's a snap, handoff. Oh no, I got faked out. Long pass attempt, incomplete. Intended receiver was number eight, Cade Garrett. Third and 15 now for the Vikings. Ball on their own 27. And there's a snap, handoff. Gonna try to go up the middle. Taken down pretty quickly there by number 40, Caden Webb. Now fourth and 13. Damian Sullivan in the backfield set to receive this punt. Kicker's number 40, Zach Sloan. Flag on the play. Delay a game on the Vikings.
And another penalty. False start on the offense. Don't imagine that uh, Coach Quaithbarth, Quaithbarth is very happy right now. And now that kick is up. Good catch by Sullivan. He's going to come to the right side of the field for taking down just inside North White's 40-yard line. Knocked out of bounds by number 40, Jack Sloan. And uh, had an impact with the kicker on that. And the Vikings have chosen to re-kick the football. There's the snap, it's high. And it'll get covered up back right at the goal line. Comets will take over now at North White's one yard line. And timeout called. Vikings with a timeout. And uh, putting on the other headset is a voice uh, that you all haven't heard since back in basketball season. I'd like to welcome Kasten and RTC alum, Aubrey Degg. Aubrey, welcome back. I'm here, I made it. And of course, uh, you also have some jobs to do down on the field at halftime. I do, so. I do. Yep, it's good to be back. It's very different though. Oh, um. absolutely, it's, it's a crazy year. Yeah, and I mean, I've just, I was looking at the roster and I don't recognize half of these names. Oh yeah, we had and a- it's insane to think that like, there's been new kids and there's new classes, like new freshmen, and I know none of them. And you just graduated. Yeah, I know, <laughs> it's course, insane. It, it has to feel like forever ago with the way that the spring went, but. All right, well, once again, Comets taking possession at the one yard line. There's the snap. We're gonna hand it off to Sullivan, who's gonna go out to the right and run it in for another Cast and Comets touchdown. All right, and setting up for the extra point, we have uh, Josh Sullivan back in the kicker position this time. There's a snap, kick is up, and, and kick is good. is good. 
I'm not going to lie, Aubrey. It's been a long time since I have said that the cast and comments extra point kick is good. We have been a two-point conversion team for nearly as long as I can remember. Yes, yes. Uh, and, you know, that's something that I've definitely missed not being – here and being able to watch the sports is, you know, I've heard a lot about cast and sports this year. They're definitely improving. Like people Absolutely. come out, people are supporting, everyone's a part of it. Uh, and so it's just amazing to come out here and see the comments doing so well, especially after what happened in the spring where right. all the athletes were just lowest of lows. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, that, uh, the mental toll mm -hmm. from the, what happened in the in the spring it was was terrible and i mean just huge round of applause to all of the athletes not just at caston but across the state who and across the country who have come out and just um coming back into this mm -hmm. engine's just revving yeah. i was most amazed by the fact that we have so many subs down there absolutely like that is amazing to see with the last couple of seasons where the comets have been playing uh, really with maybe one sub yeah. on the sideline it's just it's incredible the response uh, again part of it being the eighth grade team uh, but a lot of new faces in the school uh, which is fantastic to see and uh, first year coach coach porter uh, seems to be doing a fantastic job with the program yes. I've talked to some of the players and asked about, you know, how's the new coach? How's it going? And they really get along with him. He has a lot of drive. He knows what he's doing. And so that's just really good to hear that they brought someone good into the football program and the guys are responding well to that. Absolutely. Because uh, you and I both know that that coach-player dynamic is huge. It's very important. And there's the catch. At number eight running it up the middle. Breaks a couple tackles before going down just inside of the North White 30-yard line. Cade Garrett with that carry, and uh, Rockwell following his own kick down the field to make that tackle. There's the snap. We're gonna have run a quarterback keeper we over here. We have uh, had number 70. Who is number 70? I don't have a number 70 on the roster. Oh, uh, is it Levi Martin? Nope. No, no, no. Here, that's a. Uh, wait, I was looking. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong roster. Look at me. All right. Dang, Blair, I just got here, and I'm already yeah. doing a better job. Absolutely. Well, that's why I asked <laughs> you to come up here. Uh, may I add about, like, two hours before the game? You know, wasn't even out of class yet. Man, there's a snap. We're going to pass off to the left. Pass is completed. Taken out of bounds at about the 35-yard line. Damian Sullivan with that tackle. Vikings now third and five on their own 35 yard line. Gonna hand off. Ooh, there we go. And a fast tackle by number five, Sam Smith. Harper Smith receiving that handoff, and Sam Smith just breaks through the defense. Goes back and blitzes. North White in another punt position now. And 
and once again, Sloan in the backfield to punt. A snap, good snap this time. Kick is up. Back to Damian Sullivan, who gets tangled up right around the. Oh, there we oh, he go. He broke there the tackle. Go. He out got of, out of it. Out of bounds of the Comets 42 yard line. Fantastic tackle break there. Yeah, I mean, he really got out of it. He had his whole jersey and everything. Kind of surprised they didn't flag that for holding. I, I, you know, I'm just not sure where that line is. And I guess it probably depends on the official how much they're going to allow uh, jersey grabs. Oh, wait, nope. No, no, no. There was a flag. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know a whole lot about football. I apologize. <laughs> uh, wasn't really my sport. <laughs> well, and the flag was back on the 35-yard line, so oh, okay. looks like we may have a re-kick. So that was a personal foul against North White. So the Comets will end up with the line of scrimmage at North White's 43 yard line. And I realize that we're not even through the uh, first quarter yet, but I'm glad I'm not in that North White locker room this halftime. <laughs> there have been a lot of penalties. Yes, they definitely have. Um, but, you know, it's never always a good time being in the locker room in general when you're down. <laughs> well, absolutely. All right, so looks like we had about seven yards on that carry. Comets now second and second and three, second and four. Look at that, I can count. There's a snap, handoff to Sam Smith, who's going to go up the middle. A look at me getting faked out again. I was that was say, actually Sam did not have the ball there. <laughs> that was Grant Hickel. That was Grant who uh, did tack a couple of yards onto the. Hey, I'm fine after the football is no longer moving. Oh, there you go. There you <laughs> go. Hand it off to Damian Sullivan. Tried to break out to the right, got caught up in a uh, in about half of the defensive line. It looked like. Comments now fourth and three on North White's 35-yard line. Comments lining up to go for it. Three wide in the back. Sam Smith Sit up the, right middle. the middle. And that looks like the chains will move. They are. That's a casting comments first down. Number 62, Luke Sherrick with that tackle. Motion. We got a quarterback keeper oh. and tackled Just got by the bottom of the shoe. Tackled by his shoelaces at the 35 yard line. That'll put the Comets at second or second and 12. Just under a minute left here in this first quarter. A little flea flicker to Sam Smith. Take it up the side. He's going to the left. Got wrapped He's up. Going. Managed to, to put about five or six mm -hmm. yards on that play, even wrapped up. Take 
Number 34, Cade to board with that tackle. And first quarter winding to a close here. Well, after one, Comets 15, North White zero. And teams will swap sides and we'll pick back up here in just a few moments. You got just a minute here. If you need to refill your beverage or grab you a snack, you are watching Casting Comets Football on RTC TV4. Setting up. Comets once again at the North White 28 yard line. And uh, third and five for the Comets as we start this second quarter. Man in motion. Gonna flick it to Sullivan, who gets taken down right back just behind the line of scrimmage. Comments now fourth and six, it looks like. Got Josh Sullivan over talking to Coach Porter, heading back to the huddle. 15 seconds left on the play clock. Comments lining up, and they're going for it. Sullivan in motion. We've got a quarterback keeper. No, a short pass. Keep going, keep going. And oh. Sam Smith, Smith gets tied up. At it. Taken down at the North White 27-yard line, where the Vikings will take possession with first and 10. North White's offense taking over. There's her snap. Setting up for oh, a pass. Sending it. And Oops. out of bounds there. Pass incomplete. Pass intended for Cade Garrett. Good coverage by Jesse Rockwolf. Vikings second and 10 on their own 27 yard line. The snap. Ooh, he dropped Ooh. the snap. Yeah, fumble and a pick up there by number nine, Elijah Quaysbarth. Quaysbarth? Your guess is as good as mine. Well, our fans know that I butcher names anyway. Sometimes our own names. Sometimes I even get the wrong player. Sometimes? Uh, <laughs> Uh, 
third and nine now. Oh, it's and a, fumble. a fumble. There we go. We got a fumble. And Comets recovered by Sam Smith. Comets taking possession at North White's 18 yard line. Hickel handing off to, oh no, Hickel keeping a hold of it. I keep getting faked out by that. He moves it up to about the 10 yard line. Comets second and one on North White's nine yard line. There's the snap. Straight push through. Push straight He's up the middle. And through. Sam Smith With into the With a touchdown. Comet stretching that lead out. Now 21 nothing. And we've got Josh Sullivan back to kick again. Snap kick is it's up good. and deflected. I th oh, no, it's it was good. good. All right, well, 9.44 left in the half. Comets 22, Vikings 0. Heading out to kick off. Jesse Rockwolf back to kick. Kick is up. Really flat kick. Deep into the backfield. A good one though. Picked up at the 10 yard line. Oh. Number 33 really trying to get over to the left hand side. There is a flag in the backfield. Bushman going to the left side, taken down at the 25 yard line and uh, the officials are conferring on the call. He was a blindside block on the Vikings. Moving back to their own five yard line for first and 10. Just over nine and a half minutes left in the half.
There's the snap. Handoff and say don't know where the ball went. Tackled back by about the two yard line. Vikings now second and thirteen. There's the snap, and, and he's running it. Quarterback out, out of, of bounds. bounds up at the eight yard line. Vikings now third and 10, or excuse me, third and five on the 10. That's where that came in. There's the snap. Oh. And tackled on the snap. Comet so far having a really good lockdown defense. It's not moving more than maybe a couple meters. I don't even think that. Several of them have ran and then fallen backwards, so it's Abs deducted absolutely. their run anyway. So Vikings again in the punt formation. There's a snap. Oh, it's and blocked. Punt blocked. And I'm not sure who ended up covering that. I think North White. All right, well, Comets are going to be taking over at the four yard line. Sullivan in motion. Someone's right up the middle, but I don't know where the ball's at. Oh, he's gonna oh, guess is Sam is Smith, it and is that it was in. in. Touchdown. Was that Sam Smith too? That was Sam Smith with that carry. Wow. Comments now 28 0. 757 in the half. And Josh Sullivan in the backfield to kick. There's a snap, kick and is up good. and looks good. I know I'm not really saying much, Blair, but <laughs> I also don't think anyone understands how like kind of just amazed I am standing here right now. Like I've it's never been this excited during a football game. I mean. This sounds bad, but we're making touchdowns. There's action, and I mean, yeah. everyone is in good spirits right now. There, there was definitely a, a few seasons where things felt a little stagnant, yeah. and uh, between fresh blood on the on the field and fresh blood in the coaching staff, it, mm -hmm. it seems like there is just a fire being ignited. Yeah, I mean, it's and just it, there's unity here, uh, support, and. The boys work so well together. They have a strong offense, strong defense, um, and they really brought their game tonight.
Vikings with Garrett and Bushman back deep. Rockwolf sends it. Sails deep behind the receiving line. And we'll have a touchback on that. North White will take possession at the 20 yard line. First and 10. There's a snap. And throwing and. Oh, oh. nearly intercepted, intercepted. by. Uh, Almost had it. I think that was Damian Sullivan who was getting involved with that. Second and 10 now for the Vikings. Snap, gonna hand it off to number 20 who goes left with it and gets driven right back. back. Parker Smith on that a carry attempt. And uh, Caden Webb and about two thirds of the defensive line said they weren't having that. Seven and a half minutes remain in this half. Vikings still trying to answer the comments on the scoreboard. There's a snap. Gonna hand it off and try oh. to go left with it again. Tackled by his shoelaces over at about the 25 yard line. Rock Wolf with that tackle. He's uh, limping away from it. In high school football, are you allowed to jump over players? You are not. Okay. We I know in some states it is allowed. Um, and in collegiate and professional football, uh, it's allowed. We actually uh, had a touchdown declined last season because Sam Smith did that. I, I do remember that. I was down there for that, watching that. But, uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> I've watched a lot of uh, Max Prev's highlights, and I've just noticed a lot were jumping over people, and I didn't yeah. know if. Yep, it's just not something we allow in Indiana oh. for the safety of the players. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, punt went out of bounds around the 50. So the Comets will take possession at midfield. Six twenty left in the half. Comets going to try to do one more on the scoreboard. You know, Aubrey, I won't actually. I won't swear it, but I think even they uh, jumping over a player may be labeled as unfair athleticism, but that's not gospel. And pass or oh, the uh, oh. football handed off, taken out to the right hand side. It's, uh, number that was uh, Sam Smith on that carry. And uh, he moved the ball far enough before getting pushed out of bounds to move the chains. Oh, there he goes there. And still oh. up. 
almost would have, I feel like the, he would have had an opening there. It's just he couldn't get his footing after that last stumble. Yeah, he moved it far enough to move the chains again, though. Grant Hickel picking up a Comets first down. Ball now on the Vikings, 24 and a half yard line. Comets have just over five and a half minutes. There's the snap. Moving it up the middle and no, not quite. Hickel keeping a hold of it again. Put about five yards on that play. There's a snap, gonna hand it to you Sam Smith. Kept his feet. Put several yards on the play. It looks like the Comets now third and one. The ball on the 15 yard line. Snap. Oh, and a fumble oh. covered up by North White, it looks like. Oh, they, yeah. Oh, no, Comets, Comets covered it up. That, okay. was a, that was a close call. I, yeah, I definitely thought it went the other way, especially by the way we stood up and kind of walked away a little bit. All right, Comets, fourth and four, fourth and three. There's a snap. I don't know where Damian Sullivan tries to go up the middle. I think he comes up short. Ref's waving it off. No good on that fourth down conversion. North White will take possession at their own, looks like 17 yard line. All right, North White now takes the snap. And Number eight goes just left of center. Gets taken down with about two yards of gain. That was uh, Kate Garrett. Moves the ball up to the 19 yard line. Second and nine. Three, just under three and a half minutes to go in the half. Snap, got the snap at his knees. Oh, and he's oh, running, and he's running. Garrett, he's going, he he's, might go. Oh, okay. Ta tackled wow. by Damian Sullivan, a big gain there yes, for really, Kate Garrett. He really got a run there. Incredible athleticism there on display by uh, Damian Sullivan though, running, running the ball carrier down like that. And that's testimony to just how quick something can happen in the game of football. You know, less than 30 seconds going off the clock. And Garrett tried to carry it out to the left, gets tackled with about a five yard gain. And I think something that right now the comments have to keep in mind is also, we are only halfway through the game. We still have a whole nother half to keep playing uh, and it's starting to cool off. Muscles are gonna start tensing up. Absolutely. Um, there's a lot of factors that can go into the turnaround of this game and we just need to keep our defense Absolutely. on lockdown. Comets have to keep their heads in the game. It's not over until that very last, well, very last siren. I was gonna say buzzer, it's not a buzzer out here. 
That's very true. But uh, very quickly, a team can get hot and put four touchdowns on the board. Yes. So uh, the Commons definitely have to stay on their A game, have to keep their heads in the game, uh, or this could be a very heartbreaking homecoming. Yes. Uh, you know, exciting, but also it, at least we have points on the board and we had a good first half. But you <laughs> right. know what? I have the highest hopes right now for them. Uh, and if they just show up in the second half the same way they did the first half, Absolutely. they are going to be just fine. Absolutely. Um, uh, but it's it's so important, especially, you know, both of us being involved with cross country. Yes. It's not how you start the race so much. It's it's absolutely how you finish the race. You've got to mm -hmm. carry yourself all the way through. Uh, uh, but, you know, just with sports in general, I just want to say it's not necessarily even how you start or finish the race. It's your mentality before. Absolutely. It's how you walk into it and what you expect to leave with. Absolutely. <clears throat> oh, a fumble. Managed to cover it back up. So the down marker will move back to the 30 yard line. Vikings now third and seven, third and eight. Two minutes left in the half. And there's and the snap. handoff. Um, handoff to Garrett. The referee's waving it off. It's like, uh, oh no. I misread that call. The chain gang is in fact moving. That is a Vikings first down. Moving the line of scrimmage to the Comets 21 yard line. The Comets defense needing to step things up here as we wind down the first half. There's a snap. Hand off. He's going around the side. And wrapped up by a couple of comments. Tackle was by number. Well, that was number uh, number ten, but I don't think it was. Not gonna lie, from up here at the press box, it's kind of hard to see those numbers when they're. It is, especially with it getting darker out. Uh. Man in motion. There's the snap. Gonna hand off gonna to number bring it thirty-three, back. Caden Webb, with a tackle deep behind the line of scrimmage. Ball ends up down at the twenty-four yard line. And the Vikings are going to call a timeout. 62 seconds left in the half. You know, Blair, that's the one thing I love about cross country. No timeouts? No timeouts. And when there's a minute left in the race, there is a minute left in the race. <laughs> With any other spurt, it is. There's a minute left on the clock. However, <laughs> it's going to last another 20 minutes. I, uh, uh, I'll tell you, there, there were several basketball games where things were in tight contention. Both teams had all their timeouts, and there were five minutes on the clock. And you're sectionals. like, sectionals. <laughs> you know that that five minutes is going to take an hour. Yes. Yeah. But usually when the timeouts have been saved till that deep, it's an exciting game. It is. That is very true. Everyone's already on their feet, and. Uh, Everyone's yelling. North White, third and 10. Ball on the Comets 21 yard line. 62 seconds in the half, anything can happen. There's the snap, he's gonna he's drop back gonna the pass. Throw it, pass. And. Almost interception. <laughs> Almost intercepted. Damian Sullivan upset with himself that he didn't get his hands on that ball. But uh, he absolutely put the Vikings into fourth yes. down. 
Now the question is, when they're in Comets territory, are they gonna go ahead and go for it? Up to this point, they've been in fourth down in their own territory and they've been forced to punt. See how they set up. They are gonna set up to convert the downs. Mm -hmm. There's the snap. And Little flea flicker over to number eight. And, and Sam down. Smith was watching for that. Mm -hmm. Sam Smith with that tackle at the 22 yard line. Comets will take possession on their own 22. Just under a minute left in the half. And uh, Garrett slow to get up after that tackle though. Hopefully that's gonna go to what you were just talking about as the dehydration sets in. We're gonna mm -hmm. see athletes going down that are, it's bad cramping. Yes. And hopefully that's what they're looking at there and not something more severe. Yeah. I mean, cause the temperature drop was just- It's very sudden. Immense right now. Uh, I'm up here kind of freezing. <laughs> uh, brought a sweatshirt, have to kind of put that on. But yeah, I mean, for warm muscles, that is not a good, temperature change but it looks Absolutely. like he's up he is he's up going to be able to he's being assisted off the field off the field um, so we'll see if he's back in the second half yes, hopefully we see him back in play uh, no matter what team they're for i always want to see them come back Absolutely. no matter what um i've watched so many people go off and that was it for them and so yeah Especially uh, Garrett is a senior, mm -hmm. and it would certainly be a shame to see a season ended early, mm -hmm. especially senior year. Yeah. So, so we saw that last year Aiden with one Sarver. of our players. No one really thought it was that severe, and then, you know, he came off the field and never went back. And, you know, my heart goes to him and how that all turned right. out. Right. Well, and then he lost his wrestling season, yep. and, then and then due to well, the pandemic, lost his track season. Yes. There was the snap, uh, and Sullivan uh, looks like there was a fumble. He managed to recover it. Comments now second and 14. We'll have at least one more snap from the Comets, though. Sullivan in motion, and try to move the ball right up the middle. Smith with that carry. Gained a few yards, and with that, that we will conclude the first half. half. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we will have uh, homecoming halftime festivities and a few words from our sponsors. You are watching Cast and Comets Football on RTC TV4. As the players go into the locker room for halftime, your score, Cast and Comets 29 and North White Vikings 0. Stay tuned. This is RTC TV4. Thank you. 
Seminary, or attending college to study criminology and law enforcement. Garrett attended the son of Gary and Terry Hankel and was in grad school. He was involved in football, track, basketball, SCCLA. His future plan included attending Ben Penn University to study law enforcement and criminology. That's here at four, Brianna Yarber and Garrett and Hickel. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Jesse Rock Wolf setting up the tee to kick off to start this second half here tonight. Hey, if you're just joining us, comments with a huge first half, taking the score 29 to zero against the uh, North White Vikings, who in spite of a few uh, really big plays were unable to answer. Well, there's the kick. And rolls out of bounds at about the 22 yard line. Yeah. 
So the ball will be placed at the Vikings 35 yard line. There's a snap, drops back to pass, and pass very nearly intercepted there. Not quite. There is a flag in the backfield, however. Penalty is against North White. And it looks like it was an unsportsmanlike call of some sort. Got a 15 yard penalty. North White now on their own 20. Repeating first down, first and 25. And there's a snap, gonna hand it off, try to come up the middle. And that carry, I think it was number 12, Lucas Smith. Stopped by about half of the Comets line. Second and 25 for the Vikings. There's the snap. Looks to complete a pass. Pass is completed, number 20. However, there's a flag on the play. And it's uh, Parker Smith, tackled by Evan Howard. It's like a face mask call against the offense. They'll give up another 10 yards. Drop now to their own 10 yard line. North White now sitting at second and 35. There's a snap, puts up the pass. Pass is complete to number 33. He's still moving, still on his feet. Comets managed to tackle each other. He's made a break for it. He could go all the way. And he's into the end zone. The official calling him down by contact just outside of the end zone. Damian Sullivan chasing down the ball carrier there, number 33, Braden Bushman. Very sorry about that. Well, Got a little caught up in visiting people. <laughs> That's all right. It's like you've been out of town. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Were you able to see that? that yes. Uh, I'm surprised they did oh. not call it. Uh, uh, there's a, a touchdown. There is a flag there on the defensive side of the line there. That is a holding against North White. Again. 
That penalty will move the line of scrimmage back. Clear back to the 21 yard line. North White, first and 21. Big carry there by number 40. Mm -hmm. That's Zach Sloan. They've come out with a lot more speed this time, Blair. Like beforehand, I mean, they were fumbling the absolutely uh, ball every which way, and I mean, now they are they're zipping between our defense right now. I don't know what Coach Quaysbarth said in the locker room, but it looks like it had an effect. There's the snap, fakes the handoff. Quarterback and he's goes going to, to the throw left it. and passes incomplete. Pass attempt was uh, once again to Bushman. Bushman, of course, the one who made that uh, long re uh, reception run to be tackled at the one yard line by Damian Sullivan. Vikings now at third and seven to go. And gonna throw it right down the middle. And such a close call on that pass. That was honestly a very good throw though. It was straight down the middle. I mean, it hit his hand. I mean, yeah. he just kind of overran it a he, little bit, but yeah, it was absolutely. a very nice look uh, on his part. And it looks like they're gonna set up and punt. Got number 56, Selvin Portillo in the backfield and flag on that. Comments offsides on that. It's going to move the ball to the two-yard line, and it looks like the Vikings then are going to stand, send out their regular offense now that they've gotten that move up towards the goal line. Mm -hmm. um, and by the way, things of looking, they've been able to run it up the middle pretty easily, so yeah. I feel as though that would be a very good look for them. Fourth and goal um, with three to go. Oh, running it out to the side. He breaks and for it and no. gets taken down at the half-yard line. Yeah. Evan Howard, main the headliner on that tackle. Comets taking over first and ten, right on their own goal line. You can tell though the Comets were kind of expecting it to go right down the middle, and he almost got through the Absolutely. Uh, side there. Uh, but we were we were there for the tackle. Definitely some speed on this Comets line yes. now. Um, mm -hmm. And that's one thing that uh, Coach Porter, its he's not just about strength. He's about strength and agility, agility. strength and conditioning. Yeah. He's also uh, teaching weights here. Okay. Uh. And looks like the ball coming up the middle. Gain of a few yards on that play. Uh, and that's just always something that we never necessarily had when a lot of sports programs was just a lot of focused – training on yep. not just 
your specific sport, but you need to get that, the agility, you need to get um, the that, endurance in too. That base level um, of conditioning, yeah. it's, it's so critical. We've talked about that before. Yeah. Uh, that, you know, you know, the athletes have to be able to stay in it through the whole thing physically, and that requires a certain level of conditioning. There's the snap. Right down the middle. And oh, and breaking he, oh. free and taken down at the 25 yard line. Sam Smith with that carry, fighting hard. He's gonna move the chain gang. First down, Comets. Oh, there's the snap. Uh, He's trying to push through there, and he's still up. Ah. Grant Hickel moves Another enough to down. move the chain gang, absolutely. <laughs> Comets have moved the ball up to the 37 yard line. Working to get into North White territory. 7.33 left in the quarter. There's a snap, he's gonna hand it off to Smith who's gonna go up the middle. Picks up about six yards on that. Second and four, ball sitting on the 43 yard line. It's going to be an offsides yeah. on the comments, I believe. Oh, that was a false start on the comments. Yeah. Yep. I wasn't. I didn't see who jumped first. Oh, I said mm -hmm. definitely. We definitely <laughs> did. They just followed. Comets coming into the second half with a bit of a rough patch compared to the first half. Set back up, in motion. There's the snap, gonna flick oh. it to Smith who loses his footing, yeah, goes down the in the back backfield. Third and 11 now for the Comets. Ball on their own 36 yard line and knowing Sam Smith, I know he's so yes, frustrated he's right now. He's himself over that one. He, he's such an athletic guy mm -hmm. and for, for something like that, yeah, but um, at the end of the night, he needs to just brush Absolutely. it off, keep playing. And I mean, the grass is getting a lot slicker. Uh, I was just down there, and it's definitely getting dewy. And oh, there we go. There we go. There's He's Carrie. going. Rockwolf might go all the way. And no, pushed out of bounds at North White's 20-yard line. Big play there by Jesse Rockwell. That was a Rockwolf. very big play for us, especially in that situation that we just got in. So right, we we got in third and long. Mm -hmm. You know, I've noticed about football players though; it's always they're always looking to the side. First rule of running: just look forward, just run. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> yeah, but forwards <laughs> where all the big guys are. <laughs> There's a snap. Looks it like we can go. Looks goes down the middle. Good for seven yards. Ball's gonna sit just on the other side of the 15. Comet's sitting at second and two. Ball snap, handed off to 
No, no kept by. Where's the? Oh, it actually, oh, it's clear over there. I was looking not in the right spot. <laughs> uh, f the faked a handoff to Sam Smith. Hickle kept it and then tossed it to Sullivan, but got there it. is a flag up here at the 12-yard line, so we've got to see what's going on with that. Penalty is against North White. So that'll move the chains. That penalty was good for half the distance to the goal line. Comets now first and goal with five to go. Snap. Uh, Flicked off to a Smith. There's a flag. Out there. Flag on the play. Yeah. Smith down at the two yard line. Zach Sloan with that tackle. Ball coming back to the 10 yard line. Comments repeating first down. What was the penalty for? I, I didn't catch okay. the. So I didn't hear the announcer. Uh, I didn't hear him say anything. And there's that snap. Um, and ball heads up the middle. Looks like we're on third yard line. I think we're about the four, five. five. Four or five. Well, it's not on the line, so. <laughs> Call it four and a half. <laughs> there we go. Second goal. Four yards to go for the Comets. Just need a few more yards and. There's a the snap. Sam Smith heading up the middle. Gets a couple yards on it. Comets at Comets at uh, third and goal now. Ball's on the two, two yard, yard line. line. Got a couple tries left to get it in that last two yards. Some hard fought yardage, like yardage here right to at the push end. It. Did he, he and fell it over the line, there we go. Whatever works. Grant Hickel keeping a hold of that, pushing it in for another Comets first down. And at this point, we will switch to a running clock for the remainder of the second half. Josh Sullivan back to kick. Kick is up and, and good, I believe. Yep, yep, there we go. It's really kind of hard to see from this angle. Yeah, when I mean, it looks like it's in, but I could also be wrong. <laughs> but so far, I have not, so we're okay. Yeah, we're gonna trust. But we're gonna trust your call yes, on the field there we goals. Go. I, we will trust your calling on the actual play. Ah, um, uh, that's that's questionable. When it comes to the numbers and what plays are called and everything, I'm not really for certain. But if I continue to do football, I should probably learn a whole lot quicker. All right, so the brown thing they're throwing around is called a football. <laughs> wow, i so glad you could explain that to me. Uh, apologize to anybody listening on air. Uh, <laughs> I haven't been around long enough for Blair to pick on me, so <laughs> here we go. All right, two and a half minutes left here in the third quarter. Comets now extending their lead to 36 points. And those are the first points of the game, 
or like of the, the half. second half. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> Not of the game. I, in spite of a very valiant effort by the Vikings they were, on their they opening drive. They were so drive. close. Uh, I really thought they were going to have it on his uh, long run, though. I really did when he take it, a, but we should we showed athleticism right there. That was they a caught up to him. Big save by Damian Sullivan yes. for sure. I have noticed that uh, we have not yet seen number eight, Cade Garrett, in this half. So uh, our thoughts go out to uh, to that young man. That uh, hopefully that is n whatever happened there when. And when he got tackled there in the first half is not a season-ending injury. Rock Wolf with the football on the tee. There's the boot. Goes deep. Good catch it was there. A very good kick. I'm very impressed with our kickers. Oh. Breaking free. Nice juking oh there goodness. in the midcourt. Or midcourt, midfield. Fan Big run for them. Fantastic kick return by number 33, yes. Braden Bushman. Bushman, the the receiver who nearly got that touchdown on the last series for the Vikings. Uh, but I do have to say, when they are making long runs, like the other players for North White, they do a very good job keeping off our defense. They are Absolutely. definitely there for each other. I've noticed that a lot where we have someone that is coming up alongside of North White, but they're right there to take them down and they continue on their run. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, and that's something, again, that goes back to that, that athleticism, yes. that conditioning that you need, because your whole team has to be able to move with the ball carrier in order to break tackles. Yeah, going up the side. Uh, Parker Smith on the left gets about a yard on it. Second and nine for the Vikings. One minute left in the third quarter. Mm -hmm. There's the snap. Oh, a fumble, and quarterback was able to pick that up again. Several fumbles this evening yes. by Elijah Quaysbarth, but that said, uh, we've got a freshman quarterback playing varsity football, and we've seen that on the Comets side several times, mm -hmm. and it's just a big step for a freshman to yes, be taking. Yes, it so, is. Uh, so uh, little things like that, they're going to happen. And uh, clock's running down. Less time on the play clock than on, or on the uh, game clock than the play clock. So we're going to go ahead and uh, break for the quarter and reset for fourth quarter action here. At the end of three, Caston 36, North White zero. North White's going to retake possession on the 48 yard line with third and 14. Twelve more minutes to play here tonight. Mm -hmm. North White looking at a 36-point deficit. 
And they do have the ball in Comets territory, though, sitting on the 48-yard line. There's a snap. Good and handoff fake. He's going to go it. left. And over Almost throws his receiver. Overthrow. Good pass attempt to Lucas Smith. Just a little too hot. Vikings. Fourth and 14. Ball on the 48 yard line. And they've got their kick team out on the field. There's the long snap. Kick is Ooh. up. Kick is deep. And it rolls to the end zone. We got a penalty back here though. Comments picking up a personal foul, roughing the kicker. Automatic first down for the Vikings. That could absolutely change the face of this game. Mm -hmm. Ball has been re-spotted to the 33-yard line. Quays Bark takes the pass. Running off over the side. And go right. Juking and. Ooh, uh. Oh my goodness. Manages he's to break still going. several tackles. But I think he still ended up exactly where he was. Finally taken down there by number 58. That's uh, Grant Yaden. You know, though, uh, back to the roughing the kicker call, that's not the first time this evening that's happened to the comments. Of course, we've had a couple of big kick blocks as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the flip side is, though, is that they're, they're going after the ball with such gusto that we've had a couple of yeah, penalties on it. Yeah, they just keep going forward. There's the snap. Yeah, going to send it straight up the middle. the middle. Again, another example. Breaks out to the right. right there. Picks up enough to move the chains. Yep. Moves the ball up to about the Comets 20 yard line. Amosquito with that tackle. There's a snap, drops back, passes. Throwing, uh, and oh, almost an interception. Just overshoots his intended target. And uh, Josh Sullivan nearly picks that off. Both those Sullivan brothers have been so close to the interceptions this evening. I've heard a lot about them tonight. Uh, I've talked to people down below and the fans watching, and they've been very, very good addition to our team. Absolutely. Uh, and you know, being brothers, like they can push each other. Um, so it's very good to see new faces in here making a positive impact on our Ab program. Absolutely. Uh, we've had a lot of, uh, across the board, a lot of new athletes come into Caston mm -hmm. and just integrate themselves right away and obviously it's a hard thing to change schools and it's a really yes. hard thing then to try to make to pick up with a new team another pass pass is long very long intended for number 40 Zach Sloan <laughs> and 
North White now three and ten. Ball on the twenty one yard line. There's the snap. Looks like he's looking he's to throw. Pass. Oh, and almost pass had incomplete. it. Incomplete. Vikings now looking at fourth and ten. Well, let's see if they line up to go for it or if they line up in kick formation. They're going for it. Um, yeah, he's going. Wide open. Ooh, and taken down and taken inside down. of the chains. Comets will take possession at their own 18-yard line. Just over five and a half minutes left to play here tonight. Ball going up the middle and driven right back to the line of scrimmage. I saw his legs moving forward, but just nothing else was moving <laughs> forward. Got a couple of yards on the play. Mm. But then that north white line just decided that sideways was the only way they were going from there. Yes. Second and seven, ball sitting on the Comets 20 yard line. Hickel takes the snap and flag on the play. False start on the Comets. They'll give up five. Repeat second down. Ball on their own 15. Four minutes left on the clock. And Comets are going to call a timeout. And there's the snap. Trying to move the ball Going up the middle. Ooh, 
Is the ball still, ball was still up. <laughs> and it looks like they got back inside of the chains by several yards. Well, no, I hear the announcer saying Schaefer, but my roster says the number 70 is Levi Martin. I wonder if Landon Schaefer is wearing number 70 tonight. That is possible. <laughs> it would uh, not be the first time that we've had uh, players swapping jerseys against the roster. There's been times where we've called basketball games and uh, the person out there was never even like on the roster that was printed. Absolutely. There's the snap. Trying to work it up the middle. No gain on the play. Looks like the Comets sending out the punt team. Two and a half minutes left on the clock. Well, I don't remember if it was last year or two seasons ago. I think it might have been two seasons ago. We were a quarter of the way through a boys basketball game before I realized, because I could not make the numbers match. Mm -hmm. And they were wearing our away jerseys. Yes, I do and remember the that. Oh. oh, nice tackle break there. And Comet's pushing him back. The referees will say that's enough. Yeah, he was not moving forward. <laughs> no. At all. They're going to place the ball at the 41 yard line. With 141 remaining in the game. There's a snap. Quace and Barth he's going to throw it. Throws it That's deep. An and yeah. overthrows his intended receiver. Second and 10 now. Under a minute on the clock. As we run down to zero, Comet's still maintaining that 36 nothing lead. It's definitely a very good night for the Comets. Absolutely. And I don't know the last time we won a homecoming game. So honestly, that is pretty exciting <laughs> for us. Uh, Absolutely. There's the snap. Quaysbar drops Looking back. To throw and Short pass incomplete. Greg Brault breaking up that pass. And, and that. with that, North White going to take a knee, and that will conclude tonight's game. Final score, Casting Comets 36, North White Vikings 0. We appreciate you guys joining us here tonight. Blair Zimmerman joined on the other headset by Aubrey Daig. Thank you for coming up, Aubrey. And, Always uh, a pleasure. Uh, tomorrow, the uh, the cross country comets will head to Carroll to run. We won't be covering that, but we do thank you for joining us. Uh, this has been Casting Comets Football on RTC TV Four. Yeah.